Briggs, here's what's happening in your community. Michael John Anderson of Savage was sentenced to life in prison yesterday without parole. Anderson was found guilty Tuesday night, March 31st, on all counts in the premeditated murder of Catherine Ann Olson, 24, of Minneapolis, in October 2007. The jury deliberated less than six hours Tuesday. They found Anderson guilty of first and second degree murder and second degree manslaughter. The jury believed that Anderson 20 placed an advertisement for a babysitter on the internet with the intent of luring a victim to his home so that he could kill her. The mandatory sentence for first-degree murder is life in prison. For the full article, go to mnsun.com. Tonight, the Burnsville Eakin Savage Board of Education will meet at 7 p.m. at the Diamond Head Education Center. Items on the agenda needing board approval include having all meetings at the Diamond Head Education Center from now on and district employee health and dental insurance rates for next school year. Discover a career with endless opportunities. Become a top industry professional in only 12 months, preparing you for the top salons. The salon academy. Change your life. Change life. Students and educators committed to excellence in cosmetology arts. The Salon Professional Academy. Tonight, mostly clear, lows around 25. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs around 45. On March 24th, a group of Twin Cities advocates went to Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. to call on Congress in an effort to fight colorectal cancer, the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America. Advocates met during the nonprofit organization's C3 Colorectal Cancer Coalition's three-day event. Local advocates include Burnsville resident Brenda Elsiger, a colon cancer survivor, and Apple Valley resident Cindy Iverson. They spoke with Senator Amy Klobuchar's staff, Minnesota representatives Keith Eliason, John Klein, Betty McCollum, Eric Paulson, and others to ask them to support the Colorectal Cancer Prevention, Early Detection, and Treatment Act. The legislation, if passed, would create a national colorectal cancer screening program which will help thousands of poor, uninsured, and underinsured Americans get life-saving screenings. Sun Current Sun Newspapers, I'm Stephanie Briggs. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>